Hi, shalom and uh, greetings from One Place Century, Padua, Penang, Malaysia. Thank you for coming online with us to watch this word from the Lord. And I'm just happy to just uh, greet you from Penang, all the way from Penang. Only out of the way, yes, we're now trying to Aramiana Deva Sadi, get to the care, Alipurakan, One Place Century, Padua, Malaysia, Arande, Ogulaka. Devanuri and Achei the Ekundu Varadiki in the Slaki at the Kaina and then the Sultan. And I want to thank God for this moment and this time. And um, I've been talking to you from the series called The River from the Throne of Grace. I've been continuously speaking, and this today will be the um, will be the fifth or the sixth uh, part that we're going to talk about. This is the fifth part of what we've been sharing. I think this for the past few weeks we've been talking about. The, are you thirsty for the living water? We're talking about the, the living water. Okay, they will be a Jeeva Tanil in the Kari the Kuri the Thai Pala, so the Kari and the Pesi go to Mando. Okay, they will be a Samogotre in this, our Simasa in the Valgare in the Prasadam, in the Nadi Anade, number Yabrame in the same Mudium, in the Kuruba Nadi in the same Mudium and Renaba, Pala of the way Path go to the Kurum. So today, uh, before I go into the word, I want you to turn with me to the book of John, chapter 4. John chapter 4. Yovan Pustagam, Aintha Nadigaram. Sorry, Nala Madigaram. Yovan Nala Madigaram. Number Priyage, one of the Kariam, the part A of what I shared a few weeks ago is I shared from verse 5 to verse 24. Let me tell you what I was sharing about. Number 1. Jesus is the living water. Yoga Nala Madigaram, Aindal, Nala Madigaram, Aindal Vasatri, the Yubutinal, number Sanatu Mumbai, number Pato, other there, Undra of the Kadium, Yesu, number Yet, Jiva Tamira Yukara, in the Kadidan of Pato. Number one, Jesus is our living water. And number two, I spoke to you about Jesus in us, the fountain of water. Amen. Jesus in us, the fountain of water. Our Kule Yukara, Yesu Christu. Our Jeeva would try Maragara, Yendra Pato, the Briaga, the Samaria Pin, and the Samaria Pin Kit, the Yesu Pesamulade, Jeeva Tanire, our Kurta, Kurta de Pakuro, our Dan Jeeva Tanire and the Vilipurta Mulade, our Pul Jeeva Tanir and the Jeeva would try Marinade, no noble to Pazan the Kone. I spoke to you how, and Jesus was speaking to the Samaritan woman, and he spoke, he was speaking about the living water. He is the living water. And when he released the living water, that living water became the fountain of water within the Samaritan woman. And number three, Jesus is the bridegroom and we are the bride. This is what we saw. Jesus is the bridegroom and we are the bride. Yes, Christ the way our number year. Manavati, Manam, Devore, Manavati, Arkuram, Yes, Christ, number year, Manaval and Ayrikra. Every other in the Manaval, number the Aita Parati, Save Aita Parati. Mind the Marapo Garo, Ure, Parasutta Mula Sabaki Marapo Garo, Adu Kage, Katana Maita Portugal in the Pathum. How the bride, which is which, which, which are the church, that how the Lord is preparing the bride without blemish, without without wrinkles. So before the bridegroom Jesus Christ comes to take us with him. Amen. And number four, Nala of the Karium, number four, I spoke to you about Jesus' generation. We are the Jesus generation. So the Lord is preparing the church, His bride, to be His generation. In the Yesu Christu Sunday, everybody Sunday, Yesu Aitha Birthday was Sunday, everybody Sunday, and all our Ara the Kere or Sunday. Amen. Avi Odo, Umay Odo, Mara the Kere Sunday. We spoke about how this Jesus generation will worship Him in spirit and in truth. And in part B, I spoke to you about from the book of John, chapter 4. Was 25 to 30. You want Nala Madikaram? You know, the Ainda Rerin, the Nupu the Varikam, where Pat B, the path of Hena Vedra, Ali Talip, leaving water in the Talip, the same, what do you call the sharing of living water? I spoke to you, number five, Jesus is the Messiah. Amen. Yes, the Christian number here, Messiah, why you look around in the number part of Jesus is our Messiah, who is our Christ, the one I am. Yes, the Christian way, Nale, Nala, you look around. Nale Christu, in the very part of the Grand Nale Messiah, in the very part of the Grand Nale Messiah, Amen. And number six, I spoke to you last week about Jesus stirs our heart, Amen. Jesus stirs our heart. If we are, they will know the good of the Mede Padamurde, 
Yes, Christian, the Arabs can go to the Pandamita. Yes, Christian, the Yiranate, the Kalari Medigra. Amen. Yes, Christian, the Yiranate, Kalari Medigra. So, the way how the woman, the Samaritan woman, left her jaw and went out there, though that shows that how the Lord has stirred up her heart and made her from, from a jaw of a dishonor to be a jaw of honor. Amen. A clay, uh, a vessel of clay that was for disorder to become a vessel of clay for honor. Amen. So we are chosen to be the honored one. Amen. So this will be the season and the year the Lord is going to bless you with double honor. Do you believe that? Amen. In the worship, under the Lord, let the power of the Lord be in us. Our will 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 be in us. Okay. Under the Lord, our will be in us. Our will be in us. Okay. God is going to honor us. And honor everybody. So I spoke to you about the three things. How the woman received the word of the Lord. She received the word of Jesus Christ. She became like the Lord Jesus Christ. And then she overflowed with the love of the Lord Jesus Christ. So likewise, we are going to receive the word of God. And they will have the pogrom. Now, they were a Bartayale, Nerupa Patavarane, yes, we pour a mara pogra, amen. We are going to become like Jesus, amen. And then we are going to go out there and overflow with his love. Our the Anbidale, a lot of the way, Pungi, but in the Kurukurukur, amen. Our the Anbai, Pira, the Kurukurukur. So, this is what we saw uh, in this in last week. And today, now, turn with me again to the book of John, chapter 4, in the same scripture. I'm going to speak to you from verse 31. To 42, and this is going to be the conclusion of the subject, living water. Amen. So again, I'm asking you today, are you thirsty for this living water? In the Jiva Tanirke, Ninga Tagama Irkirla. In the Jiva Tanir and the Yar in the Jiva Tanir and Reparto, yes, we're only a mayor of Jiva Tanir. In the Jiva Tanirke, Ninga Nana Tagama Irkirama, Inge Tagama Irkado, Angeda, and the world, Kuruka Pogra and our Jiva Tanir. Wherever. Where and whoever is thirsty, the Lord is going to fill us up. Amen. The Lord is going to bless us. Are you ready to receive the word for tonight? Amen. I know that some of you are excited to hear the word of God. Some of you have been writing to us and telling us how you've been blessed by the word that has been spoken from here. And how uh, the Lord's word has encouraged you and blessed you. Share with somebody the message that you are hearing so that they will be also blessed with the living water, with the water from the presence of God, from the river from the presence of God. Amen. They will say the Anegi Bering Luke, a phone Leo, a Yelp Munimago, and the Solid Grange, a blue eye, I will look at the Vasantin Munimaga, and a Astrovanga, our Petrical Grand Blender, the Victorium Seri, our Blue Ria Valkyrie, or a Marza, Yelp Potagar, and Kelipana Murde, Engle Kalikur, and our Mission, Engle Kalarkame, or Samadan, Sandosham, Undaga. Amen. I believe the same thing will happen to you all. The blessings of the Lord will rest upon you as you hear the word of God tonight. I want you to just uh, receive this word in your heart. I want to pray for you before I speak the word tonight. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I release the word of life into the people of God who is hearing right now. God, God, you reveal yourself, you speak of God by your Holy Spirit, and let this word of life bring restoration in our lives, O oh Father. Tonight, as we speak continuously from the same subject, Father, we pray that you will make it clear to us that God, that you are the living water, and we need this water into our vessel. We are the vessel that need to be filled by this water air of life. Amen. In the Jiva Talir Nar, Yengal Pati Ragal in Nerpu Virake, in the Petru Golgurum, Yesu in Namakale. Amen. Now, number seven, if you are writing down, please write down. If you are taking notes, I want you to take note. In the early Golgurum, in the Golgurum, in the Golgurum, I know the year of the Karium. Today I'm going to talk to you about the seventh thing. Jesus does the will of the Father. Amen. Jesus does the will of God. Number seven, Jesus does the will of God. Yes, it is true. Pita, what do you sit that day? Say, get out of the eye. Amen. In the Ganada, that we say some of our girl girl, every eye, yes, it is true. Pita, what do you sit that day? Say, get out of the eye. How the Lord Jesus Christ does the will of God. Now, verse 31 to 
31 to 38. Let me read for you from verse 31 to 38. Now listen, it says here, Meanwhile, the disciples urged him, saying, Rabbi, eat something. And this is the time where Jesus was talking to the Samaritan woman, and after that, the Samaritan woman has already left. And when the disciples came, they, they probably saw that Jesus was talking to the Samaritan woman, and probably the first thing that came to their mind was, What, what is Jesus doing with the Samaritan? You know, there's always an issue, the Jews and the Samaritans. So probably they were thinking, what, what's happening with Jesus? Why he was talking with the Samaritan? And by, by the time they approached him, uh, she already laughed. And probably they were thinking, Hello? Even now, when we talk to somebody, that somebody else has called them in certain names. Some people are called in different names. Some are called by their racial names. Some are called by their work names. Whatever they are. You know, when somebody went and talked to them, they were like, why? Why is this person talking to them? And why this person is going out with them? But Jesus is going all out to meet somebody that need to be touched. Whether it is out of his race or out of his, his people group, he is wanting to meet. So likewise, we're supposed to do that. So this Samaritan woman was talking to Jesus and then she left. They all saw, her, saw him with, uh, with talking to her. And now they came, they know that Jesus didn't eat before that. That's why they went out to go and get some food or something to eat for Jesus. So when they brought back something to eat, they asked Jesus, Rabbi, would you eat? Now listen to this. Meanwhile, the disciples urged him, saying, Rabbi, eat something. They brought something, they tap out something. In verse 32, Jesus said, But he answered them, I have food, nourishment to eat, of which you know nothing, and have no idea. Jesus said, I have food, nourishment to eat, of which you know nothing, and have no idea. Now, let me read first verse 33. So the disciples said to one another, Has someone brought him something to eat? Jesus said to them, My food, my nourishment is to dwell or to do the will or the pleasure of him who sent me and to accomplish and completely finish his work. It's a beautiful word, word that Jesus said. I will repeat afterwards. I will repeat afterwards. Amen. Amen. Now, do you not say it is still four months? Alright? Do you not say it is not? Now, I will continue with this afterwards. Now, let me explain to you. When the disciples asked Jesus to eat something, he answered them in verse 32. Again, I'm saying this. I have food, a nourishment to eat, of which you not, you know not, or you know nothing and have no idea. Jesus was talking about the spiritual food that he already had. And fulfilling the will of God. Amen. Man shall live by bread alone. Remember, Jesus said this: Man shall not live by bread alone, 
but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. In that modern manner, yes, Christ to Christ is something that we have. Our son or what the money that apathy that our mother mala, that our devil no die. Why is there in the for a for a over a word that in our own people born in the yes, son of word that in that our own yes, Adam. Amen. Now Jesus is telling us, eat in something that you do not know. Amen. The word of the Lord, the instruction of God, the message from the presence of God is our nourishment, my friends. As you are listening to the word tonight, you are being nourished by the word of the Lord. Amen. You've been filled by the food that nobody else can give it to you. This food is in uncomparable. Amen. In the word they are, the devil word they are, the either mega, bigger, or whatever, army, could be whatever. Yen the word we naal, mola ko thale irikke na. Yettre raja kono word we naal kore. Ido pite pakamuriyan. Even the king's food cannot compare with the good food from the presence of God, the word of the Lord. Amen. Amen. The bread will die, but the word of the Lord will live. Jesus is the bread of life. Remember that. Yes, the first way, Jiva, Apo Ma Irkra, and the number. I remember verse thirty-two. He said this: "I have food. I've already had nourishment. Amen. And you don't have the idea. But today we know that Jesus was talking about the spiritual food. Jesus was now. Jesus was talking about a food that can bring satisfaction in our spirit and experience when we have spiritual experience with the Father." When we have experience with the Holy Spirit, when we spend time in the presence of God, we have this food, this nourishment inside of us. Amen. In the jiva, in the jiva apamar, in the jiva sapar, in that manga, all the world could have done. Nariya neeranga salavadi ka murda, or the basan ke badi ka murda, jadi ka murda, the world could have done. Murda, in the unarv nava kule, hatan to pogo, avi kuriya murda, or avi kuriya mani dar, yena bi pragasti ka arvi pa. Amen. The spiritual man in you will rise up and become so strong because he. is experiencing god in a powerful way amen or yavi kuriya manidan yesu odu kuda pida odu kuda aviyanavaru kuda sanchalikkum bolu avaru 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 priyaga kalandu kol devudu maathiyodu kalandu kol bolu devudu vaarthaye unavai maari vidam aavin unavai maari vidam amen the supernatural provision comes upon us when we are willingly we willingly submit to the will of the father amen Do you want to submit to the will of the Father? In the Avi Kuri, one of the power of the Lord. If we are not Avi, we are not the Lord. Put it. If the Lord put it, it is not the Lord. If the Lord put it, it is not the Lord. Avi Kuri, one of the devil, one of the person that is here, and the one of the Lord put it, it is not the Lord. Amen. This is the food of the angels, my friend. This is the food of the people. The, the the saints in heaven, amen. This is the food, the word of the Lord, the breath of the Lord, the presence of the Lord. Who I'm telling you, when we on earth can deep, deep, deep into the presence of God and tap into the presence of God, we are eating the supernatural food that will nourish us daily in the spirit, amen. Now, as you enter into God's presence, you will receive more of His glory, more of His presence. More of nourishment. Ningu naalu devar prasanna thukko nolai gera vele ila. Aamure prasanna maalu thu. Ungal kuna vai, aavi kuriya kuna vai mari. Ungal puttu padathile, ungal nirutham. Amen. It is also medicine. Amen. The word of God is our medicine. The word of God is our nourishment. The Bible says the word of God is nourishment to our body, nourishment to our soul. Some say it is nourishment to my bones. Hallelujah. Amen. आज तो हम लोग के तांत्रिक तीक्त करते हैं बट मतलब पसीत तीक्त करे अधैर वाले बात के पसीत तीक्त करते हैं बट मतलब आर वाले नम्बरे सुगर पढ़ते करे थे हमारे आम ये आत्मा सारी रहते हैं ये लोग तो बड़ी तो हमारे सुगर पढ़ते कोड़े बड़ा सक्ति इन अधैर वाले बात के लिए अटेंड करते करते हैं मैन वेरी पावरफुल the father amen now i want you to understand and underline the word the will the will of the father he came to fulfill the will of the father remember when mary went to him and searched for him when he was 12 years old he went about in the temple of god and he was talking to people around her and mary was looking out for jesus she went in this guy go and she when she found him She said, "What are you doing here?" 
And Jesus said, don't you know that I have to come and do the will of the Father? I got to be about to do the will of the Father. Amen. He knew that his, his call on earth is to fulfill the will of God. Do you know that you are called likewise to do the will of God? Amen. But we fulfill the will of God. That is our nourishment. He said, I Jesus said this, my food is to do the will of him, the father who sent me, and accomplish and completely finish his work. The word will here is pleasure. Amen. The word will here is pleasure. Jesus said this, my food is to do the Amen. Our Santo Saparta on the game. In the Wanda Karname, our Santo Saparta, in the Kinano Soldier, Nigel Nano Peranda Karname, Vidavayum, Parisuta Avium, Yesuvium, Santo Saparta with the Kai, Napanda Guru, Amuria, Devanagi, Kadamai, Nam Santo Saparta Peranda Kurama, and who gave me a cake. Now let me tell you that we have been born into this world so that we can satisfy. Our God Almighty who created us. Amen. When we put Christ, only take note of this word. When we put Christ first, He become our bread of life. The living water who will satisfy us. Amen. Amen. Now, yes, we will be able to get the word of the Jeeva Apamai Rikra, Jeeva Tanira Ramakura, Vande, Namai, Santo Sapatagara, Namai Padapatagara, Kala Padagara, Amen. Now, dear friends, there's a deep satisfaction in being in God's presence and to do His perfect will and to consider it, it's my pleasure. Amen. Amen. But, Mikan the Santo Show, Samadan Odinga. They were a woody if they say that they were a sit that they say were they were the guy one were they number thirty undato number the atma will ever a thirty undato say the part of it try you will know that it will satisfy your spirit satisfy your soul amen it's you will tell it's my pleasure to serve the Lord to fulfill the purpose of the Lord mighty God amen they were sit that they say the mutica way in this is all to finish the work that I've been called for. That is an assignment again I'm saying to you. We all have an assignment to do. My Lord the way they were only the Katala would bear you under say the Mudike. And the Vela say the Mudike Varika to Boga Bur the Vai Pradi. So you will not die, you will not go anywhere until you finish the assignment that God has given to you. So when you finish it in the fullness, then the satisfaction will come to you. So that's why Jesus said, I come to do the will of the Father and to finish it. Now, they would sit that they say on the grave, and they would take the book on the grave in the Kartan Solagra. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So now, when we submit ourselves to the will of God, when we submit ourselves to the will of God by seeking His kingdom first, including fasting, including including reading his word, doing his ministry, reaching out to the, to, to the souls out there to save the souls and to help the poor and the needy, etc. Amen? So if you, if you keep doing what is seek first, the kingdom of God. You can see the kingdom of God. You can see the kingdom of God. You can see the Amen. When you start doing what 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 he likes, what God likes, and what God is looking for, then you are satisfying God and satisfying yourself. The spirit will be satisfied, my friends. And then all things will be added unto you. Amen. When you seek the kingdom of God, when you fast, you are praying and doing everything that God likes, whatever that you think that God likes. Do it, my friend. Because then all things will be added to you. What do you want? It will be added to you. If you're praying for your children's education, it will be added to you. If you're praying for scholarship, it will be added to you. 
If you are praying for a car, a new car, it will be added to you. If you are praying for a new business, it will be added to you. If you are praying for something of God, it will be added to you. If you are praying for some blessings financially, it will be added to you. If you first seek the kingdom of God. Amen. நீதியும் <laughs> Let us be hungry and thirsty for him. When our food... Now, and now remember that this was the promise that Jesus gave in Matthew chapter 6 verse 33. I'm not going to turn there, but you can read it. And you seek the kingdom of God, all these things will be added to you, right? If you seek the righteousness of God, all these things will be added to you. When our food, our desires are to do the will of God, then number one, if you're writing down, number one <coughs> now, when our food, our desires are to do the will of God then, number one, in verse 35 it says, we will become visionaries, let me read for you verse 35 in verse 35 it says, do not say it is still four months until harvest time comes. Look, I tell you, Jesus said, raise your eyes, raise your eyes, and observe the fields and see how they are already white for harvesting. Amen? Amen? So number one, the small number one, okay? You can put ABC. Now, number one, we will become visionaries. Amen? When you are filled with the, when, you are, when your thirst is filled, when you've been filled with the word of the Lord, when you're filled with the presence of God, when you feel with the satisfaction of, the, of, of God, this is what is going to happen. When you receive the food from the presence of God, number one, this will happen. You will become a visionary. Your eyes will be open. Your spiritual eyes will be open. You will start seeing far away. Amen. Well, we will know that it's time for harvest. Amen. 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 The only thing is that when you receive the food from the presence of God, amen, when you receive the bread from the oven of God, amen, then something opens up your mind, something opens up your spiritual eyes that you will become a visionary. We will know the seasons of God. Friends, a lot of people do not know the seasons of God. That's what the Lord says. My people perish because of lack of vision. They don't show the person that they don't have a vision. 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 But my friends, Jesus is opening up the eyes of the disciple. He said, See. See the field. See the harvest is ready. Amen. That's in verse 35. Now, in verse 36. It says here, already the reaper is getting his wages. He who does the cutting now has his reward. For he is gathering fruit or crops into eternal life. A life eternal. So that he who does the planting and he who does the reaping may rejoice together. Number two, write down number two. Number two is, we will become sowers and reapers. Amen? When you receive the word of the Lord, when you receive the encouragement from the presence of God, when you are satisfied with this word, 
the first thing that will happen to you is you will become a missionary. Number two, you will become a sower. You will become a giver. You will become the one who is also a reaper. The ones who will reap. Amen? Even both he who sows and reaps may rejoice together. Are you hearing me, my friends? You and the others will rejoice together. The one who sows and the one who reaps rejoice together. It's not separate times. They will rejoice together. Whether he sows or whether he reaps, he rejoices together with the ones who does the other work. Amen? So, are we in the same book? Are we in the same page? Are we in the same thought pattern? The sower and the reaper will rejoice in the blessings of God. There'll be, there, there will be no issue of your sheep or my sheep. Are you hearing this? It's not time to go and count how many sheep do I have. You know what happened to David when he started counting his, his army, counting how many soldiers he had? He failed. He lost the battle. Don't count on your ships. Ministers of God, don't count on your ships. The ship belongs to the Lord. He is the shepherd. Our God, our heart, our day, Monday, our God, the day, our Amen. Hallelujah. The Lord is our shepherd. Let's stop counting sheep and claiming them for ourselves. We're now online. We don't have a physical building to, to count anymore. Do you still counting how many people are watching you? Do you, you still counting how many people how many people are attending your church services? Or how many, how many, how many ships that you have? Friends, we've got no time for that. Don't waste time. Let's move on. We've got a lot of work to do. The sower and the reaper will rejoice and be together. Now let me show you from the scripture. In a while, God who calls us is faithful, my friends. Yes, our unmail over now. The Lord who calls us is faithful to us. He knows who needed to be added into our group. Amen. Namurie, Monday, Monday, Kula, Uni Yara Lame, Seta Murimo, Abu Sepa. Seka Lamuri Vala, Namuri Vala. It's not our work, my friends. The Lord will add. The Lord bring the addition. Remember in the book of Acts, 120 people start worshiping and praying and, and filled with the Spirit, and 3,000 people got saved. The Lord added, and after that, what happened in the book of Acts is the Lord added to them daily. The Lord added to them daily. Go and say that. My friends, I've done this so many times. 
and God keep adding new things and new people into us. Amen? Amen. So if you're listening to this, I want you to take note of number three, verse 37 to 38. Number three, it says here in verse 37, for in this, for, for in this, look at the other also, for in this, the same holds true, one sows and another reaps. Asam sows and another reaps. Amen? 
Wherever you are, you're blessed. I bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. If somebody calls me from Kuala Lumpur or from another state in Malaysia and say, Pastor, I heard your message and I believe in the Lord right now. I want to go to a church. I won't tell them, hey, come on over to Penang and enjoy my service. No, my friends, I will connect him with another friend or another pastor nearby his place where he or she can attend the service. That's the best thing to do. So, do we have connections? Do we have contacts? Do we have relationship with all the pastors and all the leaders who are coming, who are in contact with us all, all throughout this nation and also the nations out there? Maybe somebody will be calling you to ask where to go. Guide them, my friends. Guide them. You may sow something into them, but somebody else may reap it. It's okay. It's all right. It is all for the kingdom purpose. You labor, yes, but the Lord labored more. Think about it. You and I live, but the Lord labored more. Let us work in unity. Every shout, unity. Unity. Amen. So let's let's work for unity and 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 train these people, bring these people together, bring them and send them to the harvest field because the harvest is plenty. In in Matthew chapter nine, was thirty six to thirty eight. I don't want it to turn, but let me show you something from Matthew chapter 9, verse 36 to 38. Jesus said that harvest is plenty, but the workers are few. He said the harvest is plenty. Maybe I'll read it for you. Verse 36. When he saw the thrones, Jesus saw, this is in Matthew chapter 9, verse 36 to 38. When he saw the thrones, that means the people, he was so moved with pity and sympathy for them. Because they were bewildered, harassed, distressed, objected, dejected, and helpless, like sheep without shepherd. This is when Jesus saw them. Yes, the Guru Sahib, they are coming. 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 They are he saw the sheep that was without food, without nourishment. And he was so down in his heart and he said this in verse 37. Then he said to his disciples, the harvest is indeed plentiful. Amen. Are you listening? He said the harvest is plentiful. Church, let me tell you, friends, let me tell you, the harvest out there is plentiful. It's multitudes. It's billions of people in the world. They are the harvest field. Amen. He said, Indeed, it is plentiful, but the laborers are few. What's the point? If you don't understand, the work is great. We got to train. We got to work on somebody's life. We got to train our family. We got to train our children. We got to train our disciples. We got to train the people around about us. We got to train them until they are sent out into the mission field. Local missions or, or missions, international missions. Prayer is needed, my friends. 
Prayer is essential, my friends. Not just praying for God release us, deliver us from COVID. No, 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 no. Praying that God send people from here into the places where there is need. Pray. Pray so that you and I will become senders one day. We need to send teams out there. We need to send teams into the nations, to every part of the world, wherever we can. Amen. So we will serve in unity, I say. The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. One last one before I finish this. In verse 38, sorry, verse 39, number 8. And I'm going to close with this. Number 8. Jesus, the Savior of the world. Amen. Jesus, the Savior of the world. The last revelation from this book of John that we have been reading just now, John chapter 4. The last revelation that he started to give to the Samaritan woman and the Samaria people is that he is the savior of the world. Amen. The disciples understood this. The Samaritan understood this. And let us see and understand this. Verse 39 says this. Let me read. Now, look at the word of Allah. Now, numerous Samaritans from that town believed on and trusted in him because of what the woman said when she declared and testified. He told me, he told me everything and I ever did. That's what she said. He told me everything that I ever did. And she went around proclaiming Jesus and everybody came to Jesus. Now write down number eight. Jesus the Savior of the world. One, first one. In verse 39, many Samaritans believed in him because of the word of the woman. Write down, they believed because of the word of the woman. And the pain the person is the one of the karya, in the entire karya, one of the, one of the karya that we have to do, in the Samaria person is the one, 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 and the one of the one of the one of the one, the word of the woman. So the people will believe in Christ because of you. Take down this. Remember this. The people out there will believe because of you. Because of your testimony. Because of your conduct. Because of your sharing. Because of your kindness. Amen. That's the first thing that will happen. So, share the word and through the word that you are sharing, through the testimony, through your music, through your songs, through whatever that you are doing, they, you are actually letting Jesus be glorified. Amen? Now, number two, if you see verse 40, this is what is happening. So, when the, Samaritan, the Samaritans arrived, they asked him to remain with them. And he did stay there two days. And Samaritan will allow him on the pin with Number two, they urged him to stay with them and, the, and he stayed there for two days, right? Now listen, this is for you. When people or anyone invites Jesus into their hearts and leads and leads sorry when people or anyone invites Jesus into their hearts or into their lives or into their homes, Jesus will definitely come into their lives, into their homes. Amen. Yes, the first way. Yar Allah me, Allah ke yar glow. Inge bhi tu kula bande thangenge. Inge de walke kula bande thangenge. Inge de jeevi tu kula vange. Inge de kupud gire. Atta me peer to. Yes, sabi saithi. Abur glow de kula bande thangwa. Abur de ille tel bande thangwa. Ulle tel bande thangwa. Amen. That's the beautiful thing. So this is a message that we are carrying. Tell them that when they themselves will call on Jesus, Jesus is ready to come into them. Amen. Now. And he will dwell within them in the spirit. Amen. So let us introduce Jesus. Number one, we say that you introduce Jesus. Next thing is that the people, when they start to invite Jesus into their lives, Jesus will come into them. Amen. And number three, in verse 41, 
Then, then many more believed and added to and relied on him because of his personal message, what he himself said. Many believed. They were nourished by the word of the Lord Jesus Christ and they all stayed back. They all wanted to hear more and more of God. Amen. So the number three is many heard the word when they keep hearing Christ through the sharing of the word. They will soon believe and have faith in Him. Amen. When somebody comes to the Lord, somebody comes to the church, somebody comes to these online services and hears, start hearing the word of the Lord, the word of God, the word of life. Not the word of condemnation, but the word of life. When they keep hearing the word of joy, the word of the presence of God. Amen. There will be peace within them. There will be joy within them. There will be great nourishment within them. Amen. And they will start to believe in the unbelievable. Amen. Number Mudia the Karitan Say Mudio in Ur Putya Nambi Kay Aurul Kula Vana Make up. They were about the Kega Kega. Amen. As you're hearing this word, there's going to be a nourishment in your life that you know that something is happening, that there's a belief system that is coming inside of your heart, that I can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens me. Christ You are the one, my friends. Because you started to hear him. You started to hear him. Not just another person's testimony. Today you will become ready to tell your testimony of how you had an encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So your faith got to grow in Him. Amen. Every family today are praying in their own house. Every fathers or mothers are becoming a priest in the house. I'm so happy. I'm happy to see and hear that my members from our church who are disciples, they are now running their homes. The, pa the fathers, their mothers, the sisters, their brothers are taking turns to share and pray and serve communion at home. Amen. And it's not so much in Vicky, in Guru Samayil and Seri, which you move the Samayil and Brother Kram. Overcome Yelpitan, the Vitra Kurumatere, Kurumakurma Churika Mishnane. Apa, Amma, Sakodri, Sakodri, Pelega, Yelam, Mena Sera, the Po, Avanga. Take turns money, pray pandraga, take turns money, communion at the grave. Our Joe Mandra and Matam, Joe Mandra and Matam, they have the party at the Persegi Grave, Potagare Pola. Hallelujah! In the Tanga Nadakuno, this must happen rampantly. And we are seeing the days are coming. I declare and prophesy to you the last day's movement will be a saint's movement. A new generation of army who calls, who will be called the Jesus generation will rise up mightily and powerfully and they will go out there and win souls. They will go out there and declare the glory and the might of God. That is the generation I'm talking about. They must be built within their families. If every house have their revival within them, the nation will rise in every revival. And that was going to be a great awakening. I prophesy to you. There's going to be a great awakening in the house, from the house into the city, from the city into the into the nations. Hallelujah. Amen. God is going to visit us in a very powerful way. Number four, in verse 42. And they told the woman. Now we no longer believe or trust or have faith just because of what you said. For we have heard him ourselves personally and we know that he truly is the savior of the world. He is the Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Remember once Jesus asked Peter, Peter, what do, what do the people say I am? And Jesus said, sorry, and Peter said, this is what, this is what they say, this is what they say, this is what they say. And then Jesus asked, Peter, Peter, what do you say? 
And Peter stood for a while and then he said, You are, you are the Christ. I'm not going to talk about this tonight. But I'm telling you the one word, the important word that he said, You are the living. You are the Christ. You are the Savior. He knew it. And something was there within Peter. He knew who Jesus was. Today, another race, Samaritans, are telling that we know for sure that this is the Messiah. This is the Christ. Amen. Number four, we have heard him ourselves personally. And we know that he truly is the Messiah. He truly is the Savior of the world. Amen. Friends, let me say this and finish. When we guide people to follow Jesus and train them to hear the voice of the Lord, they will know for sure that Jesus is the Messiah. Did you hear me? நம்மகிட்டே <laughs> ஒரு காலங்கள் முடிந்தது சாதிக்க முடியாது இது ஒரு குழுவினரா சேர்ந்து தான் நம்ம எல்லாருமே செய்ய முடியும் it's not just about one apostle or one prophet rising up there and here it's not about that it's not about one pastor or one one evangelist doing great work that seasons are all my friends these are the seasons where the five four ministry come together in oneness in unity no more superstar or the enemy for the nachathram irukiradhu mukkiyam illaga nam orumithu orumalamai vande nam devanukkaga anegarai devan pagadu thirupunu not attract them to us it's not our work to attract people to us attract them to jesus when he is lifted up all men will be lifted up to him all men will be drawn into jesus amen devan yesu uyirthu uyirthu pattal ella manidhum avarodu kuda serapaduvar amen so let us introduce jesus the bright morning star hallelujah amen விடி வெளி நட்சத்திரமான இயேசு கிறிஸ்துவை மட்டுமே பிரசங்கிப்போம் இயேசு கிறிஸ்துவை மட்டுமே பேசுவோம் இந்த விடி வெளி நட்சத்திரமான இயேசு கிறிஸ்து மட்டுமே அந்த நட்சத்திரமாய் இருக்கட்டும் நம் நட்சத்திரமாய் இருந்த காலங்கள் போகட்டும் இயேசுவை வெளிப்படுத்துவோம் அவரே நட்சத்திரம் என்று அந்த நட்சத்திரத்தை எப்படியாக அவருடைய பிறப்பிலே பார்த்து வந்தார்களோ அதே போல் இன்றைக்கும் அதே நட்சத்திரத்தை பார்த்து வரட்டும் அவரே மகிமை படட்டும் அவரே உயர்த்தப்படும் let people come to jesus because they saw the light of glory amen because only he is the living water let them come to this truth let them come to the way let them come to the way let them come to this way in the satya they loki varatam in the unmai they loki varatam avare jeevan avare valiyum avare satyam jeevanam irukkar vasam songa he is the way the truth and the light let us live to him let us live to him my friends He is the living water. Amen. He is our living water who is able to quench our thirst. Only to close your eyes and lift up your hands before him wherever you are. Inge irundalum indha vishwasathode avare nammai. Avare jeeva thanneerai namak irukkara. Indha jeeva thanneer இந்த ஜீவ தண்ணீர் உங்களுக்குள் வர வேண்டும் என்றால் 
ஒரு தாகம் உங்களுக்குள்ள உண்டாகும் Jesus is the living water and if you want this living water to come inside of you and become the fountain of water then you and I got to be thirsty for it and when you are thirsty i want you to just lift up your heart to him hera ba kashero lo bo kachara la mariana rupte la mo rhada la bo kashika ba 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 maria rohila kachoro mo sibiria lo bo ka ba maria be thirsty my friends be thirsty my friends be thirsty in the spirit for only jesus can feel you refill you anoint you bless you and make you to become like him avare pole nave maatha koodiya valla devan namathil irukkira petrukolvo petrukolvo pidave vela kai stotra nandru satthukoru avare magimai engal mel vandha kai stotra Pray, much in my cry, in the mail on the cast of the river. Lord, we thank you. We give you praise. We know that God, that you are good. You are glorious and you are mighty. Thank you for your good presence upon us, O oh God. Thank you for strengthening us. Thank you for filling us with this living water. Thank you, Father, for filling us with this bread of life. Thank you, Lord, for showing us that you are the Savior of the world. Thank you, Lord, for choosing us. to declare that you are the christ adavare nandri saltagoro neere engalukku jeeva appava irukire adavare neere engalukku jeeva thanira irukire idai petru kolugoro neere jeeva thanir neere jeeva appa nagar eppalame adavare raabojal edukiramo idu nyavuku kolugoro god every time whenever we take the communion we want to remember lord that you are the living water you are the the the, the bread of life you are the way the truth and the life dire valiyum satyam jeevanava irukiren endru kuda nambagoro viswasikkoro andavare ige nirappu vira god feel us come and put your hands in your head and another hand lift it up to the sky let the lord refill you tonight Let the Lord refill your life. Let the Lord bless you and anoint you. Don't wait for a pastor to lay hands on you. You can receive it from the presence of God. You can receive it from the shepherd of shepherds, the great mighty shepherd. Yes, Christ who heard the Lord in the Bishak of the Nigel Petro Colala. Yara Nur Bodhagar will make a way to be in the middle. I will see a man in the air of the Lord. Yes, we will have a lot of money. There are times where the pastors need to lay hands. There are times where the Lord wants to do it Himself. Let it be this time that you receive it from His presence. Let Him receive you tonight. Let Him receive you even this moment. Let Him receive you this day. Let Him let Him receive you every day of your life. I know dear mom, mom, they have a Sunday kettle, Monday kettle, Monday Shaggy kettle. Put your hands on your head. You receive the blessings. You receive the favor of God. You receive your honor from the presence of God. They have another thing. They are in there. I will share with them. Put your hands on them. Oh, they have another thing. They will receive it. Put your hands on them. They have another thing. They will follow me. Put your hands on them. Receive your healing in Jesus' name. Receive your blessing in Jesus' name. Receive your deliverance in Jesus' name. The joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is your strength. They have another thing. They have another thing. உங்களுடைய பலன் தேவனுடைய சந்தோஷத்தை நான் நிரப்பப்படுவோம் thank you lord jesus thank you lord jesus thank you living water oh jeeva tanile swas swasikro petru kolugro petru kolugro ungudeya swasathe jeeva utre varu jeeva nadiye varu breath of life come water of life come upon us bread of life come upon us jeeva katre varum swasithu petru kolugoro jeeva thanire varum kudithu petru kolugoro maaviye nerappa padugoro jeeva appave varum adavare naangal adai pusikkiro engalai thiruthi paduthu viraagi stotra maandavare receive it, my friends we give you all glory lord we thank you lord thank you lord we are blessed we are blessed in jesus name Amen. If you are ready with the communion tonight, I want you to take it into your hands.
இன்றைக்கு நீங்க உங்களுடைய வீட்டில் ஆயிரத்தி மாயிருப்பீர்கள் ஆனாலும் இந்த ராபோஜியில் பங்கெடுக்க இந்த அப்பத்தையும் இந்த பாடத்தையும் நீங்கள் எடுத்து கையில் வைத்துக் கொள்ளுங்கள் நம்ம ஒன்றாக எடுப்போம் On that day, Jesus took the bread and broke it and said, This is my body that was broken for you. I declare to you that this is the bread of life. Yes, Christ, you are the one who is 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 the bread of life. The same day he took the cup and he said, This is my blood that was shed for you. He said, Remember this forever. Yavaku Kalangal Ide, Enodi Aratam Unglakai Sindha Patadir. I declare to you that this is his living water. Either way, Namurudi, in the Kracha Rasame, Avurudi Jeeva Tanir. Avurudi Jeeva Tanir. Namai Tripti Padatu. As you partake tonight, I take this with this revelation knowing that you are filled with the bread of life and you are satisfied with the water of life. Jeeva Apathira Alinga Narapa Padringa Jeeva Talira Alinga Shutti Galika Padringa Let us put it together. In Jesus name. Amen. When you get ready with your offerings and blessings, as people of God, we want to give unto the Lord. Father, we thank you, Lord, as we are sowing this and giving into your kingdom. Bless it, Lord. And use it for your kingdom purpose. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you for listening, my friends. Thank you for being with us in this hour. If there is any word that I've said that hurts you, forgive me. Send me the word that I've said that hurts you. Forgive me. There's no intention to hurt anybody. The main thing is to share the gospel, the love, the presence, the grace of God. Amen. Let God bless you and keep you safe. Stay safe. Stay strong. Stay united. Let's do the work of the Lord. That must be our pleasure. Say with me one last time. It's my pleasure. To serve the Lord. It's my pleasure to serve the Lord. Amen. It's my pleasure to serve the pleasure of the Lord. Amen. They will sit at the same day in the Muru Sandosha. God bless you all. Meet you all on this coming Sunday in a very special service that the Lord has asked me to share from every book of the prophets. So I'm going to share from the book of prophets. I started last week the book of um, Jeremiah. I'll continue with other prophets. And see what God is speaking to us every Sunday evening, 8 o'clock. Join us to see what God wants to speak through these prophets about this season of time. And also catch you up again on the next Wednesday, every Wednesday. Join us for our midweek service, 8 o'clock. God bless you all. We love you all. From Manuel, Pina, Malaysia. God bless you. Take care.